Well, I'd like to say I made up you come here tonight to interview me, right? Because people need to know about the north end of Bergen Head. Of what it was like years ago and then what it's going to be like in the future. Because years ago, when I, was, when I left school, I left school, never forget, when I was 16, at 4 o'clock, I mean my mates come down Tollymass Road, larking about, I got in about half four, yeah. and my mum says to me, I said, what are you having for tea? He said, never mind what you're having for tea. Get over to Sammy Owens and get a job. Yeah. And Sammy Owens was a firm, just the bottom of our road here. There used to be a drum reconditioning plant for Mobile Oil and Valvoli Oil Company down the Dock Road. Yeah. So I said, what? She said, get over there now and ask for a job. I said, I'll go, I'll, 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 I'll go tomorrow. I said, get over there now. <laughs> and, you know, you had to do what your mum said you years ago, you know yeah. what I mean? And so I went over there, but when I went to the, when I got in the main gates, the noise of the factory scared me, you know, because I'd, ne yeah. I'd never heard nothing like that. You know, all the machines going. So I walked up to the main doors and I was looking in, and this woman says to me, What do you want? What do you want? I said, My mum sent me over here to see about a job. She said, A job? And the woman knew me, she only lived in Trent Street here, my eyes. She said, knock on that third door down here, the third white door that was in the factory. Yeah. And I, I was literally shaking, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'd, I'd only just left school half an hour ago. Yeah. So, I never forget as long as I live. I walked down to where she said, and I knocked on the door, and I heard, come in, come in. Well, just the sound of that voice was making me nervous, yeah. and I goes in, close the door, he says to me, and I went in and there's this fella, a fattish fella sitting in, in, in the, behind his desk, and a, a fella sitting in that with a white coat on, and another fella, and um, I says to me, excuse me, my mum's just sent me over here for a, for a job. I've just left school and she sent me over here for a job. And he says, he says to me, your mother sent you over here for a job? Where, did you, where do you live? I said, over the road there. Eh? He said, over the road where? I said, just Ilchester Road around the corner there. Eh? He said, what did your mother say to you? I said, she said to me, Go and ask Sam Owens for a job. So he says, Well, I'm Sam Owens, and you're asking me for a job, are you? I said, Yes. He said, Well, I'm going to tell you now. You go back and tell your mother to make sure you're in this plant at 8 o'clock Monday morning. You've got a job. Yeah. Well. That was it, you started, yeah. Tommy's turning it off for you. I got the job. Oh, you got it, yeah. I got the job. You know what? And that was down to your mum, yeah? Yeah. I, I, run, all, I run all the way over, over from there, right? I run like... Like, like Charlie in the chocolate like the factory, clappers. Yeah. I run like the clappers <laughs> out of the factory, right? I run out... Excited. Excited and terrified. Yeah, yeah. I, run, I run out of there, right? And banging on our front door, I said to me, Mum, I've got a job. And Mr. Owen says to me, Tell your mother to make sure you're here at 8 o'clock. My mum says to me, I'll make sure you're friggin' well there. You'll be there at half past seven and I can't drag you there. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? How long did you work there for? That 
that was me st me leg in Chernobyl oil. Was it? Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on the the centre you so own over there? There's been whisper that it's turned into a, a stripper. Strippers club. What was it called? What they were? Charlie's Angels. I wish it was Charlie's Angels because I tell you what, that club will, will never open because the lack of people around here. No, it's you been stolen. stolen. That club, what this community built, not only me, the River Street community built that, right? When I when I saw myself out, I. I I'm going to sort that because, see that, that sports hall? Yeah. That belongs to everyone in the North End. So is there a rumour about this Charlie's Angels stripper club? That's what, on the What's been going round um, in a couple of papers? Do, mm. you, do, you, real, do you read the um, Daily Mirror? Charlie's Angels? There's a small um, piece in the Daily Mirror. Daily Mirror? Yeah. Yeah. In what? the back of it saying the... That address, that was the, the given it's address. Of them. Where I seen it. Yeah, it's been going round all different sources. Um, that, that's turned into a strippers. No, called it's Charlie's Angels after his home. No, it's what's the name? Um, the people who's got it, the council have given it to. It's the. Um, what is it called? Um, Charlie's Girls. No, no, no. Charlie's. Gym Gymnasts. Gymnast club? Oh, oh Charlie's gymnast. No, not mine. No. <laughs> oh, gymnast. What do you think about the Chinese um, coming in with their fried rice and noodles? The Chinese, right? The fried rice and noodles. They bring a lot of noodles and. Assorted. Yeah, well, sweet, and sour pork. And stuff. sweet and sour pork. Yeah, yeah, well, the thing is, right, with the Chinese bringing all their Price. products in, right, the rice and that. Wontons and um, prawn I, toast. I'd say to, I'd say to the, the British can't do it. Yeah. The British can't do it. And the way, the, because... You do make good food, like, the Chinese. The Chinese make brilliant food. The Chinese make brilliant food. You, you go out for the weekend, and what do you say? We'll go for the Chinese. Yeah. I'd say the Chinese... You've got a Chinatown on the pool, haven't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, the likes of the Chinese, um, the, the brilliant workers, the brilliant workers, and there's maybe a thing we could learn off the Chinese. They've got a lot of technology, haven't they? They've got the red screwed on. Yeah. The Chinese have got the red screwed on. Right. Yeah. No, um, no. They're not on big wages. But and they yet, can't half use a walk, can't they? Work, 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 work. Whereas us will say, Am I getting a pay rise this year? No, you're not. Oh well, I'll tell you what. Yeah. I'll take it easy for a bit. Yeah. Um another question, how um how good are you with, like a Chinese wok? Are you any good at doing the old Chinese meals? Oh, I couldn't do that like that. No. After burning my house down on a pan of chips, I'm not going to try a Chinese, am I? <laughs> <laughs> because just like John Laird done years ago, the Laird family years ago, Bacon had had nothing, and John Laird, it, okay. John Laird, his family started, and the Lever brothers in Baconhead started the soap factories and that, and John Laird started with the shipbuilding. Well, it wasn't John Laird at first; it was it was Laird, and then he he amalgamates with Camel. And then it was camel aids, mm. right? And once camel aids, camel and aids joined together, they employed thousands. Yeah. 
So everyone in Birkenhead had jobs. Everyone had jobs. There was one down in <coughs> London, um, one called Camel. Mm. And like, yeah, yeah, and there was one, um, Christine Tow. Mm. So it was, you could end up calling it Camel Tow. Yeah. It? Well, Camel Rice was... <laughs> I get a letter of the council saying they've received the building of the crown. Yeah. I thought the crown, what's the crown, what's to do with this? So I goes down to the land registry office to find out if the crown, that's the queen, has took our building off us, a community centre. I said, I don't believe this. So it goes down to the land registry office and they got the files out and said, no, nope, um, we can't see nothing like this, but I'll give you a, a number to phone up the Crown Commissioners. So they gave me this number, comes home and I rung this number and it says, this is Buckingham Palace, your calls are being monitored and recorded from now and I said listen my name is Charlie Wright we've built a, a, a community centre and sports and social and if I think Lizzie has robbed us I've been a royalist all my life I'll stop being a royalist and I'll have made her with the Queen yeah that's what I said and next thing this woman comes on the phone and says do you know that's been recorded I says yes I do know and if I think the royal family is robbing people by taking their business off them, I'll take my flag down and burn it. Because I've been a royalist all my life. Yeah. So she said, well, I'm going to give you a number for you to phone up for the area where you live to find out if the Crown has an entrance to it. So she said, it'll most probably take a few hours. So... I rung this number and they said it'll take a couple of hours. I gave him the due. A couple of hours later, they rung up and said, The Crown has never had any property in that area whatsoever. So it was the council telling lies. And just took her off, yeah? And because they, they asked for the keys, you see, and I gave them the keys to the club. Why did they want the keys if that were your land? No, it wasn't our land, we were only renting the land off them. Now, when we rent the land, right, because we were a registered community association charity, we were on a peppercorn rate for £10 a year. But then they put up to £500 a year, right, from £10 to £500 a year. Mm. And I've still got it all in black and white upstairs. This way, before they popped me clogs, what did you say? You, you got black people upstairs? Hey? Did you say you got black people upstairs? No, I said before I popped my clogs. Oh. I've got all my deals, my, all my papers upstairs yeah. with all this in black and white. Oh, yeah. I thought so, you said you had black people upstairs. Well, black people, I don't mind black people. <laughs> <laughs> Not racist. I'll give them the history of the North End from when I started to when we fucking finished. The ups and downs of the council and the backhanders and all this shit. Well, Frank Field... is a load of shit. Well, we heard on the, um, in the paper as well that he's just been talking for questioning over child molesting. What are your thoughts? He's a load of shite. Would you think he'd ever do anything with kids or...? Yeah, I would. Yeah? Yeah. Is that the shite? Because when my nan used to be on the tenants association, like Michael Jackson, I, like that, they used it? to have the house in Column Road, didn't they? The yeah. And when I went round there when I was younger, I could have sworn he touched me knee at the time. I got frightened. Do you know what I mean? He obviously didn't touch your dick. <laughs> well, he got frightened. <laughs> <close, laughs> yeah. Martin yeah. might have liked it. He might have said, "Oh, what's that? What's that? Do it again." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I but think he might have. No, it, it, well, I had, ca yeah, had counselling for three weeks over that, like. Yeah, I can, yeah, I yeah, can I tell you something, right? 
I lost all my hair and then over there. <laughs> <laughs>